This is Manic Mark, real fake outsider artist, coming to you from the underground bunker system under the Earth Bella. Here in a secret location in the Midwest, and uh, I'm going to show you a short video headshot of my house so that uh, if anyone out there ever wants to come and find me, and I actually, you know, kind of half ass and half I kind of half ass encourage that. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe I'm just gonna have have like the hard alcohol drinking challenge. What I like to eat for lunch sometimes is a bean, three bean salad, and Sam's has the very best. There's green beans and there's onions and garbanzo beans and. Mm. It's like eating ice cream. It's wonderful stuff. So I come down here and usually I don't do eating videos. There's plenty of people out there that know how to cook and this is how I cook. It takes me more than three minutes to make a meal. Sometimes I have Ritz crackers. They're pretty good with everything because everything goes better on a Ritz, I guess. Um, so, and then I have my uh, ruby red grapefruit juice. Mm. And I think I'm dehydrated after that challenge too. Massive undertaking for me. I know I still got alcohol left in the house. So I'm gonna dig that out somewhere and drink that. Okay, uh, hold that for me, will you, Orville? Okay. Uh, in the news, Captain Beefheart, the paintings, is has a new owner, yay! Captain Beefheart has a new owner. A wonderful young lady by the name of Tina. I think I'm in love with Tina. She's very nice. <laughs> um, so then I was thinking the only thing I've got today is this thought on like my own kind of like uh, YouTube identity and history. So I started out with this like kind of like not, you know, like sc some scripted stuff, you know, but everything, you know, you realize even if it's scripted, it's part of what, you know, a person is. But it was kind of like a little bit tense, you know, because unlike most people that do scripted stuff on YouTube as a vehicle to become actors, right? I'm not worried about that. <laughs> if I could just sell some paintings, that would be pretty cool. So, um, so I realized well, it had no, nothing to do with paintings anyway, so I kind of segued, getting into the groove here, like my own little world. Finally, you know, you kind of coalesce because, like I said before, you know, you, you can't see you. It's really hard to see who you are. And, and well, I had a um, person once told me that they didn't think that they had anything to offer. They weren't funny, but I think everybody's funny. And I think it's just what's hard is, is to try to s step outside of yourself and see what you have to offer and then be able to sort of, I don't know, kind of control that and project it a little bit, kind of like... I'm over labels, like the folk art, outsider art, outsider art, vision art, visionary art, raw art, whatever, you know, all that stuff. We don't even know what to call it. I'm like, oh, well, that's, you know, that sounded pretty good. If they don't know what to call it, then that's, that. I'm, I'm on board with that thing. I still like to be called neo-primitive, and I, I, I think that came, I, I told you I was going to look into that, and I didn't really sort of... Like it came from some Russian guy, I don't know. It's like anything else, why not use it? So I like Neo Primitive because it makes me feel like an art caveman. In the, the marketing thing, I went through marketing and I realized, you know, my dare marketing scheme, dumbass retarded effort in marketing is pretty effective and I'm sticking with it. And uh, so, but I'm thinking like, how do you structure a YouTube video? Fuck, which I'm not allowed to say anymore, and fart jokes. And tits if you got nice ones, which I don't. So. Um, I can't, you know, just not, I just, that's not for me, you know, and, and all the jokes are like written around stuff that everybody understands. That's, you know, what you ever go watch comics doing their thing. It's all like, well, I was on an airplane, you know, really common stuff that everyone can deal with. Well, I can't do that because <laughs> I don't understand any of it. Uh, 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 you can still take the essence of what is popular and put it in your own videos like sex. I think every video probably has to have some kind of hint of sex in it. You know, like this. Ooh. Oh my. That sure feels 
Uh, a painting. A painting's good. It's out there. It's just a whole nother painting on the back that nobody will ever see except for the owner. Happiness. Um, funny clothes. Funny clothes. Uh, foul language. It just seems these days that... I can remember... Well, I've got a drawing. Maybe I'll stick it in here. But we used to rent an apartment in this house that we lived in to help, you know, my parents, you know, take care of things. You know, we were a pretty modest family. Um, in fact, they only had like, I'm, I'm not kidding, man. <laughs> Growing up, I had two pairs of pants, two pairs of shoes. One were the Sunday go to meeting shoes, and the other shoes were clod hoppers. Oh, I'm sorry, three uh, tennis shoes, Converse. That was the only kind of tennis shoe you get. Oh, there were red ball jets. And, uh, you know, some shirts. Uh, and then later in high school, like when I started to develop self image, it was a white t shirt jeans, clot hoppers, and my dad's Marine Corps field jacket. That's all I, I wore. I don't even know why I wore that stuff. I just did. Um, but, oh, foul language. So we rented this apartment, and there was a woman and their boy living in there. And one day the boy, like, snapped, and all I could hear him was telling this woman to get fucked, and fuck a duck, he kept saying that, fuck a duck. And I was like... I didn't even hardly understand what the kid was saying. I think he was younger than myself because I was very self, you know, immersed in myself and really um, had no friends. <sighs> oh, well, that's another story. So I don't remember when I started picking up the habit. I, it came out somewhere along the line. But uh, the point is, like, when we were growing up, we just didn't hear that stuff. But now it's just all over, and it's amazing. Although sometimes I'm like, why do I do it, and should I do it? But then I watch a movie, and it's full of foul language. That so should you do it because of that? No, oh, well, it's not any worse than that. And I don't think I'm again going to contribute to the fall of uh, civilization uh, using foul language. Although I will try to um, watch my tongue. Okay, current subject matter is very important. Like the other day, I used stinger missiles. You know, made comments about stinger missiles. But these are part; these are things that affect me during the day. So, as part of v blogging, you know, you're just here for the delivery, not so much the crap that interests me. What do you care? Like? Down, down. Worship me, Hoover. Worship me. Oh, I love grapefruit juice. More or less, you know, that's self-destructive. In fact, just doing this video is self-destructive. <laughs> Uh, can be. So far it hasn't been. Um, it's been a good thing actually for me. Uh, something self-destructive. But I think that uh, interests people when you do something self-destructive like tub of uh, monster, monster women. I found that yesterday and little women in there like there's a woman with a scorpion body and with a spider body like a like a Siamese lobster woman but it's actually just two lobster women together. There's a lizard woman with some kind of like seashell viking helmet and they all got boobs and they're but they're you know appropriately dressed with some kind of swimming attire so oh man i love grapefruit juice it's really yummy